video, I am no longer live, but you can go ahead and comment and replay down below. I'm going to wait a few minutes, but we are going to talk about this beautiful sublimation tumbler today. So I'm going to give it a minute. I'm going to check to make sure my audio and video is good while I wait for a few people. But then we will get started on this quick little pop-up live for this sublimation tumbler. So I'm super excited about these tumblers. They are really cool. And if you haven't seen these yet on the website, you need to go check them out because... I haven't seen these anywhere and I'm super excited. I'm looking to the side because I'm making sure the video is working. If you guys are seeing this, comment hey, say hi down below so that way I know it's working. All right, looks good over here. There we go, and that's where I'll be able to see a lot of comments too. I'll see a couple scrolling on my phone, but most of them will show up on my laptop over there. So if you see me looking over there, that's why, but we're gonna talk about this. Do you see this? This is so cool. So I haven't tried this tumbler yet. Um, I'm going to be doing it with the exact same method that I do my regular sublimation tumblers and see if there's any kind of tweaks that you need to make to work with the color changing. All right, so I'm going to let a few more people pop on before we start. I'm just going to hold my hand on this and just see so I can get it pink to show you guys because it is so cool. But this is the new blue to pink like heat changing color changing cup. It is super cool. So I saw these when Jessica first got them and she did the live showing them off and they're, they're so fun. So we're going to be doing some fun stuff and sublimating this. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and flip you guys down and get started. I'm going to take off this ring. I use it to crochet with, so I don't need that on. So I'm going to flip you guys down so you guys can see what I'm doing down here. And I'm going to, so this is the image I'm doing. It is the Tired as a Mother uh, cheetah print. So for this tumbler, since it is already blue and pink, um, you're going to want a black design so it shows up the best. So any colors will not show up the right color. So if you did like yellow on this, it wouldn't show up yellow um, and it would almost not show up at all. So black is going to be your best choice for this. So I'm just doing a whole black like leopard print design. And how I do mine, I've done it before and there's a couple lives on it, but I'm going to just line up my design and I'm going to tape it. So I use uh, heat tape and painter's tape on my cups because it's just what works for me. So I'm going to make sure I have it lined up pretty good. And then I'm going to get the other side. Make sure you're pulling it super, super tight. You want it as tight as you can get it. Make sure it's lined up really good. And... And we are going to tape it in place. Hey, Shanna, how are you? All right, I'm gonna tape it. I tape the spine with the heat tape. Um, and then I will use painter's tape to tape all over to get the best um, pressure. Since I am going to be using an oven, we are hoping that the test of the mug press comes in soon so I can show you guys using that but right now we're going to use the oven all right and I'm just going to like I said tape the seam of the cup you could use heat tape all over you can use painters tape all over you could use shrink wrap I personally just like the tape method shrink wrap kind of scares me I hear so many horror stories of it catching on fire so I try not to uh, use shrink wrap. And this is my first time taping a tumbler with nails, so please be patient. <laughs> but um, yeah, so I'm taping the seam right now on this beautiful color changing cup. And I cannot wait to see how it turns out. So there we go. And then I like to tape the top and the bottom of the designs. So I'm gonna flip you guys up so I can actually see what's going on. There we go. Make sure I get it up. There we go. All right. So right now I have the actual spine or seam of the cup taped. So what I like to do is I take my heat tape, which I have right here, and I tape over the rim. So I'm literally going to take it and put it on the rim. 
just like that, and then pull it as tight as I can over the rim and gets a nice seal along the top and the bottom of my cup. This is what I do to get the pressure enough on the rim. A lot of times I see people saying like, why are there patchy spots around the rim? And that's why you have to make sure you get like a lot of pressure on it. And since you're not using like a press of any kind, you have to make sure you get that pressure with your tape. So that is what we're doing. And I'm gonna turn so I can show you. So I'm just putting it on and then pulling it over the rim. So you can use any tape. I use heat tape for this part and then I wrap it with painter's tape, but you could use painter's tape. Um, but I like to try to get it on there as good as I can. There we go. And just, I go all the way around the rim. Ooh, it's so exciting. I said, this is the first color change one I've done, so hopefully it works out. Um, I'm going to do the same time and temperature that I always do at 400 for nine minutes. Um, and I rotate every three. I don't know. I don't think the rotating does anything. Um, but I just, I do it anyway. So I'm going to do that on this. And that way, if you need a little more time or any changes, I can let you guys know before you guys do them. So that way you are prepared whenever you guys go to supplement your own tumblers. So I'm excited about this one. I ordered this one and that new watermelon cup the day they came out. And they are so cute. I have the watermelon. I have a plan for it that I might do a live for. So we'll see. All right, I'm just going around the rim. I know this is kind of repetitive but it's very important that you get this rim done really well so that way you can not have any patchy spots. All right, I'm just gonna keep going. I like to do the heat tape around the top. I sometimes do painter's tape around this rim to make it quicker. Um, if you hear my dog whimpering down there, he's fine, I promise. He's just a crybaby and wants pets. And I'm clearly <laughs> not giving him pets. I like that I can have uh, my dog in here while I'm sublimating because it's non-toxic. I don't have to worry about him getting epoxy on him. It's great. So we're almost around. Like I said, I do heat tape for this. We'll do painter's tape on the bottom. I cannot wait to see this cup done. That pink, that blue to pink color change is so cool. I have a couple ideas, but I wanted to try this first. Hi, Rochelle. How are you? All right. So there we go. And then I'm going to just use some painter's tape to do the bottom just to do quicker. Um, I don't worry as much, especially because this is probably a personal tumbler. Um, I don't worry as much about the bottom being done as perfect because you don't really see the bottom part. So I don't mind using painter's tape. So I'm going to I put it on the rim and then I pull sections and I pull it so that way it's flat. Make sure it's pulled nice and tight. Oh my goodness, you had a tornado? That's so scary. I'm glad I missed you guys. Where are you at? This weather I've heard about recently is just crazy. Texas has had snow so many times that like we just were not prepared for and now this big storm I've heard about it's just so crazy everyone stay safe out there if you guys are near it or affected all right Louisiana yeah that's where I thought it was I say we're here in central Texas I'm five minutes up the road from puzzle so we had some rain last night, and we've had crazy winds all day, but thankfully that's all we had. Um, I don't know if any of you guys do shirts, but I do a lot of t-shirts for my shop, and I couldn't bleach today. It was just so windy. Um, all right, so now our bottom is done, so there we go. And then I like to put a couple strips of tape around the whole tumbler. Um, I feel like it just... It probably just gives me peace of mind, but I literally will go and pull it all around the tumbler 
to get a, I feel like it adds just that pressure that you need to make sure that paper is pressed firmly onto the cup and it gives it a nice finish. So that way there's no patchiness, which is something I definitely want for my tumblers. All right, so we're just pulling, and I'm just pulling it as I lay down each section, just to make sure it's nice and tight. All right. This, there we go. I'll probably do one more wrap just around that bottom section. Uh, this step is a little extra. You don't have to do this, but I'd much rather just use a little bit of tape and make sure it's secure um, so I don't have to redo it because we all know tumblers are not cheap. And so if you mess it up, I don't want to have to fix it. So I'd rather go around and tape it really well than have to redo it. So that's always my theory. I don't have time to redo a bunch of stuff if I mess up. So just adding a little tape, you know, fixes that. So. I'm going to add one strip just around that big patch that's open. All right. And we are fully taped. So you guys can kind of see, well, I can kind of see the pattern through the tape. I don't know if you can on the camera, but I'm going to put this in the oven and I'm going to do it for three minutes, rotate, three minutes, rotate, three minutes. So, total of nine minutes. I bake mine, let you pause, mister. I bake mine at um, 400 degrees. This is my little convection oven. Um, I will be doing some tutorials and stuff and I'll be working with Jessica to get you guys some tutorials um, with the new mug press that's coming. She's still waiting on her first one to come in, um, but that press, guys, looks amazing. So, I'm gonna go ahead and put this in. Let me pull up a timer so that way we don't burn it. Normally I would tell her back there, you know, A-L-E-X-A, but I don't want to make all of y'all's <laughs> bunch of timers go off. So I'm just gonna do it over here on my computer for three minutes turn, three minutes turn. All right. Okay, so there we go. I'm gonna stick her in. Obviously it is very hot in there, so careful. And close. So I'm gonna let it cook for three minutes. While we do that, we're just gonna wait. Um, so normally at this time is like when I'd start doing another one. So if you guys have any sublimation questions, feel free to let me know, ask. I'm so happy to help. So any questions about materials, how to do it, what to get started with. Um, I have made several upgrades, printer, ink, paper, um, all kinds of upgrades. So if you guys have any questions, feel free to ask. I'm so happy to help, but I'm going to bake that for three minutes and then we'll rotate. So this is gonna take about nine minutes total. So we will be here for nine minutes, but if you guys get that press, it's gonna start taking two minutes. And I'm super excited about that because nobody's got time to wait nine minutes, <laughs> but yeah. But I'm using ASAB paper, I'm using Siegel ink, and I'm using my Epson 2720 right now. Um, I do have other products that I use, but that's what I'm using on this one. Can I sublimate on a silver cup? So yes and no. There are sublimatable silver cups that, have, that don't have that white coating, or in this case, a blue to pink one. Um, there are sublimatable silver cups. Puzzle doesn't have any, but there are other suppliers that do have some. I haven't tried them. I personally only have the sub cups from Puzzle, which are typically the white ones, but we're trying out the new blue to pink one. But you can't sublimate on just like a regular tumbler. It does have to be a sublimation tumbler, if that makes sense. A good printer for sublimation. So any of the Epson Eco Tanks, E P S O N Epson Eco Tanks. I have the 2720, which is the cheapest like value starter one that most people talk about. And then I also have the 15,000. Um, it is bigger. It's the exact same printer. It just prints bigger. 
So if you're just starting out, if you're not sure if you're going to do it, if you're exclusively going to do tumblers and not like shirts at all, you could definitely get away with the 2720, even for shirts and stuff. It's just smaller. It only prints eight and a half by 14. The 15,000 prints up to 13 by 19, I believe it is. Um, so on my 2XL shirts, I can do one sheet for bigger designs, whereas if I'm doing my 2720, I can do eight and a half by 11, and I double up my paper. But both are really good, so the Eco Tanks. But I just use the 2720 for this one, but 15,000, there's 2760. I mean, there's so many different, but if you're just starting, 2720. All right, let me catch up on these comments. Yes, exactly. You can only sublimate on sublimation cups. All right, so it's been about three minutes. I'm going to go ahead and rotate this. And I'm going to rotate it to the middle if it will stay. Sometimes it won't. And there we go. And this is just a heat glove that I'm using. All right, started a new timer for three minutes. But yeah, you can only sublimate on sublimation tumblers. All right, you're welcome. Yeah, exactly. Epson Eco Tanks are super great. There are um, Eco Tanks and Workforces. Eco Tanks are simpler because you just literally all you do is you unbox the printer, and instead of putting in the regular ink, you just pour in the sublimation ink, and then you're good to go. You know, make sure it's printing good, and then you're good. You know. So whereas the Workforces, you have to kind of convert it. I think I don't know how that works. I haven't had a Workforce. But you do have to like convert it a little bit. And so it's just not as beginner friendly, but they're both really good. But Epson Eco Tanks, what I recommend. I've seen these sleeve looking things for tumblers and they turn into a tumbler into a sublimation tumbler. Is that a thing? I haven't seen that. Um, I know there's like koozies, you know, like a cup koozie. Um, I have one somewhere, I think in a box over there. Um, but yeah, there's koozies that you could slide over a regular tumbler and you could sublimate on the koozie. Um, and then I don't, I haven't seen anything. Um, uh, do you know what they're called? I've seen a lot of people, um, try to make their own sublimation tumblers by like putting on polycrylic and stuff and it just hasn't worked. It's not FDA compliant. It's, you know, it's just much easier to buy a sublimation tumbler, especially cause puzzle uh, puzzle tumblers, their sublimation tumblers are the exact same price or like 25 cents more than the regular stainless steel. So it's definitely really good to just buy it. Um, if you have an idea what those sleeves are called, let me know. It's easy to convert a workforce. Okay. You have to buy cartridges to convert the Epson workforce printers. You buy the empty cartridges to fit your printer and then you sub ink in them. See, that makes sense. I, was say, I know there was like some kind of conversion you have to do. Um, I have, like I said, the eco tanks and I just um, opened it and then I dumped in my sublimation ink and moved on with my life. I used a syringe and just filled them and ta-da, <laughs> I'm sublimation ready. All right, I've got about 40 seconds. No clue, it has almost a shrink wrap effect. Okay, I know a lot of people do use shrink wrap on their sublimation tumblers, so you would, this has water in it, I need to be careful, but this is the sub one I did in another tutorial. But um, you would put your paper on with some heat tape and then you'd put a shrink wrap sleeve over it and then shrink wrap it on to get that tightness. I just use tape. Um, I, say, I, I don't know, I'd have to look into that. Um, but like I said, I personally would just, in order, I mean, if there is a sleeve that you could put on a regular tumbler, I bet it would probably be more expensive or the same price to just buy the sublimation tumblers, if that makes sense, you know? All right, rotating the last time for three minutes. I'm gonna start my timer again. All right, we're starting our last three minutes, so we're already six minutes in. Uh, not really hard, just more supplies needed. Exactly, yeah, so to convert the workforces, you just gotta get a little extra. So what type of results have you gotten on silver? I haven't done silver sub cups. I've only done the white ones. Let me go grab one real quick. I've only done white sublimation cups.
So like here's a puzzle one that I did that. So this is the plain white. Well, this is the hollow one. And then this is one of the puzzle ones I've done. So I haven't done any silver ones. Um, only the actual white sublimation ones. So if you, um, but I've seen people do them, but it's like, it's like putting glitter on a silver base versus a white base. So your colors aren't going to be as vibrant is what I understand from that. So that's why I like the white that puzzle offers. Um, because it, uh, makes your colors so vibrant. Like they're going to turn out exactly right. Whereas like if you put a yellow over silver it might not be as bright. All right, any other questions? We have about a minute and 30 seconds left. Yay. And I do use a heat glove. Uh, these are just heat gloves from Amazon and I typically just put it on one hand and use the other one with my nail to pick off the tape. It's just kind of what I do. Um, but definitely be safe. It is about to come out of a 400 degree oven. It's going to be very hot. So please, 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 please be safe. Even this glove is not the best quality glove. Um, I actually have two doubled up right now. <laughs> so, hey Angie, you're good. We are currently just baking our tumbler. We've got about one minute left and we are going to open it up. I'm interested to see, so this is a blue to pink color changing cup. Um, and when you touch it with heat, like with your hand, it changes to pink. And I'm really wondering if it's gonna come out of there and look pink. Because it's hot. I would assume so. We'll see. But it's a blue to pink color changing. And then we did a mostly black design. Or all black design. I love the outcome from sublimated tumblers. I just need to learn how to properly size the image of the paper. So all I do is I hold up my cup. And I just take a measuring tape and measure. And then measure. Um, so like this one that I just did. Was um, 8.25 tall by like. 9.5 around but you just measure and uh, cut and trim as needed or if you're getting a design that lines up perfectly um, just measure uh, the puzzle tumblers ones this one is perfectly straight so it's super easy to measure it all right that timer is done hey Stacy how are you all right so we're gonna get the tumbler out and we're gonna go ahead and peel the um all the stuff off hi mister you gotta go on. you gotta go he loves when i allow him in my craft room because normally i don't if there's um epoxy so i'm going to carefully just start peeling off all this tape hi suzanne what program do i use i use inkscape like inkscape um that is where i print from i'm gonna tilt you guys down just a little so you guys can see better while I peel off all this tape. And like I said, be careful. It is hot. All right. So we can see the pattern starting to peek through the paper. So we know it's probably baked good. But yeah, I use Inkscape um, and I just import my image and I change it to the size I need and print. Um, if you're having issues getting it sized properly, um, make sure you're using the sizing tool up at the top. So like height width, um, you can actually like type what numbers you need, but also you can change the document properties to eight and a half by 11 or anything like that. Can you wait until it cools to remove? Yes. As long as you don't rub it or anything. Cause while it's hot, um, I guess you could like smudge the ink almost. Um, so if you like let it cool too long, it could stay like smudge um i haven't let it cool yet but you definitely could if you don't have heat gloves if that's why you're uh wanting to let it cool i've used a kitchen towel before make sure it's white otherwise it could bleed because it is so hot so sassy down there <laughs> i don't know if you could hear him grumble but heat gloves are pretty cheap on amazon too but um i've always peeled mine hot but i also peel all my shirts hot too so Maybe that's why. <laughs> so you can tape and not shrink wrap. Yes. So I am terrified of shrink wrap. 
Um, I hear so many horror stories about it catching fire. Um, and so I didn't want to do, oh yeah, it's definitely pink. <laughs> All right. Yeah, I've heard so many horror stories about shrink wrap catching fire if it's not like good quality, um, which terrifies me. And so I wanted to, I tried with tape first and that's how I've always done it. I've never bought shrink wrap. All right, so we're just peeling. You guys can see that design. It's looking so good. You had a small fire in your oven? Oh my gosh, that must have been terrifying. Was it the shrink wrap or was it like something else? Be careful, please. Oh my goodness. I saw a horror story of someone's uh, cricket or silhouette or whatever catching fire one time, and that's terrified me that if I leave the house for extended periods, I'll unplug my cricket. Like, that was just... Oh, look at that, you guys! I didn't mean to expose it so much. Oh my, that pink though. Oh my goodness. So this is blue normally, but when it's heated, it turns pink, but... Oh my gosh, we're not even done taking it off yet, but look how good it looks. Oh my goodness. I love it. You gotta get that. There we go. You guys. This is beautiful. It's still a little hot, but it's starting to cool down. Look how pretty. It turned out so good. Oh my gosh, I love it. This pink. So I'm hopefully hoping it'll cool down pretty quick so I can show you guys the pink to blue again since a bunch of you guys have hopped on. But oh my goodness, this pink. I can't. Look how pretty. Oh, I love it. Pink is my color right now. Pink nails, pink hair. It's I'm having a phase of pink and this pink is perfect. Oh my goodness. Puzzle does it again, you guys. <laughs> yes definitely unplug any craft stuff I keep my little oven here unplugged um, whenever I'm not using it and I unplug my heat press you guys still a little warm but oh my goodness look how pretty Nika did I see your name pop through look at how pretty this is oh my goodness ah I can't oh wow so so pretty okay so this is the pink um i'm wanting it to cool down so hopefully it will shortly i'm like trying to think of a way i could cool it down it's cool it's still a little warm to the touch it's not hot but it's warm but oh my goodness you guys can see the black like it is good quality that's my seam i overlapped a couple pieces so you can see like right here i kind of overlapped like i said this is probably a personal tumbler but if not, I would just disclose that in my listings. But oh my goodness, I am screaming inside. <laughs> Do you want to see? My dog is right here just looking at me. Put it in the freezer. Oh, I'd have to run all the way downstairs. <laughs> run it under cold water. Oh, that's a good idea. I could go do that. Oh my gosh, Nika already claimed Tim's. <laughs> Nika's on top of it. She is ready. Oh my goodness, you guys. I'm going to scroll through the comments real quick. Sublimating tumblers is so cool, honestly. Like, it is so cool. And this took nine minutes, but like, that's not long at all, especially to make a tumbler. And these are dishwasher safe. I usually recommend hand washing to my customers still, um, just because you can break the seal on the inside of the cups in the dishwasher from that heat. But technically the design is dishwasher safe. But this cup is so, so pretty. Oh my gosh. I'm so excited. <laughs> so excited. Let me go check through the tumbler. So cute. Oh my goodness. Beautiful. Thank you guys all so much. Nika, you're so funny. Mine. <laughs> I love shrink wrap because I can see the design peeking through. So with the painter's tape, I can't see through the painter's tape. But if I did a little window with the heat transfer tape or even just left a little window open, I'd see it. I just use the painter's tape because it's cheap and shrink wrap terrifies me. <laughs> but that is a good idea. I like that idea about the, the shrink wrap because you can see it. Teflon wrap came off and hit my element. Oh my gosh. I'm, 
I'm so glad you caught that little fiber. Oh my goodness. I've used enough shrink wrap and I don't see a difference with tape if you've taped it well enough. That's awesome. Yeah. What? Come here. Come here. Come here. Say hi. This is my dog. <laughs> he just wanted pets. Uh, that is crazy, but can you say hi? Okay. Sorry, guys. He's a little needy. He's an only child. But, you guys, this tumbler is so pretty. So pretty. I'm trying to let it cool down. Do you like it? Well, you licked it, so now it's mine. <laughs> Oh my gosh. But yeah, these are really awesome. Sublimation tumblers are really, really cool. You having fun? Sublimation tumblers are really cool. They're really quick. They're really easy. Um, I'm excited for that heat press to come in, the mug press to come, because, oh my goodness. Okay, you're too much. You gotta go. Yeah, you're very sweet. <laughs> yeah, he's cute. He thinks he's cute. Um, but yeah, sublimation's really quick, really cool. It's a little of an investment to start. Um, but like I said, if you want to start out small, I would start with the Epson 2720 2720. It's an eco tank. You can get them for $200 at Target, Office uh, Depot, Walmart, um, Sam's Club, uh, you know, like anywhere that sells printers. You can get them pretty cheap. So I would start there. And then um, a little oven like this is like $50. Um, heat tape's pretty cheap, but yeah, I'm so sorry about him. Uh, this is, yes, this is the blue to pink cup. I'm so sorry about him, but this is the blue to pink cup. I'm going to go run it under some cold water to see if I can get it back to blue, okay? So give me just one second. <laughs> knocking stuff over my guys I'm sorry he's a very loud boy I'm so sorry <laughs> but yes this is the blue to pink so I just put the this part under the water so you guys could see this is the color when it's cold and this is the color when it's hot oh that's pretty too let me dry it off a little but yes this is the blue to pink let's see let me check the comments I'm really working on my seam. I'm struggling with that, but it's getting better. My seams aren't perfect, but um, the way I like to explain it is, like, these are handmade. Yeah, I mean, they're printed images baked onto the cup, but, like, they're still handmade, and they're not perfect, you know? So, like, I would still sell this seam, you know? It doesn't line up perfectly, but it's pretty decent still, you know? So, I wouldn't be upset if I got this as a customer I wouldn't you know so I try not to be too too critical uh let's see sorry I'm trying to scroll on the comments because I had to leave the room <laughs> you'd want to keep it half full at all time I love this this is pretty cool so yeah say this is when it's cold and then you can see if I hold it so it's a nice, really pretty blue. I can still sell it to you. <laughs> I say, if you want a cup that's been licked by a dog, Nika, it's all yours. <laughs> but then when you see the heat from my hand makes it pink. I love this cup so much. I can trade you cookies. My husband ate all of my Girl Scout cookies. I can't even lie. I'm going to have to buy some of those. I, I was over talking to Jessica earlier, um, picking up this cup that I ordered. And... Uh, she doesn't think she has many of these left because I told her I was going to do a pop-up and she said there's not many of these. If you guys want this, go get them now, puzzletumblers.com and you can use the code MORGAN12, M-O-R-G-A-N-1-2 and it'll save you 12% on every order. So whether you're buying sublimation, tumblers, molds, anything like that, um, you can save 12% anytime. So... Definitely go get you guys some of these cups. I'm pretty sure they were going to sell out earlier, so 
Um, I need to order some, so leave me a couple. <laughs> but go get them before they're gone because she um, said she was going to order more, but they take up to eight weeks to get here, you guys. So if you want some of these before they're gone, please um, go get it. Like, go get it soon. And use the code MORGAN12, save 12%. Um, it'll save you a good little bit. So, but, oh my goodness. So I'm trying to not touch the front too much so it'll change the blue again. Yes, yeah, so the tumbler itself is color changing. So when you get it, it is blue to pink. So blue is cold, pink is hot, and we sublimated, because this is a sublimatable tumbler, we sublimated the um, leopard print in the tired as a mother. Oh my gosh, I'm obsessed with this. This color changing cup is life. I'm living. Nika may steal this from me, but if she does, I'm definitely going to make another because I just am obsessed. Do I know if they color change under epoxy? I don't actually. Um, I could try epoxying like a small section on the bottom or something. Um, or if I mess one up, I can try that, but I'm not sure. I would assume so because even when you put your hand on epoxy, it would color change. I know UV reactive glitter still works under epoxy, so I would think so, but I'm not 100% sure. No one's tried yet. Okay, <laughs> yeah, no one's tried to uh, epoxy it yet, so I'm not sure. But you guys, I am obsessed with this. What do you guys think? So cool, right? And if we, once we get that heat press in, you guys, we're going to press this half and press it and it'll take literally like a minute or two and going to, you already did. <laughs> Nika's stolen it. It's hers. This is Nika's cup. Everyone say hi to Nika's cup. <laughs> oh my goodness. If I try it, yeah, if I do it, I'll definitely update you guys. Um, I'm sure I'll mess up one of these at some point because it's me. I typically do. Um, but yeah, if I do, I will definitely try to update you guys. Can I say the name of the company again? Yes, puzzletumblers.com and you can use the code MORGAN12, M-O-R-G-A-N-1-2 to save 12%. Um, I think Nika's on still or if someone could type the website puzzletumblers.com and then the code's MORGAN12. And the code works anytime, no minimums, you know, anytime. Thank you, Brittany, you guys rock. Oh, Nika got the exact link straight to it, awesome. Love the cup. I hope she gets more color options. You guys, if we sell these out, if we sell out this blue to pink one, I'm sure she'll get more. You're welcome. Thank you, Nika. You guys all rock. Thank you, Brittany. You guys are awesome. But yeah, I'm living, living for this. Do you guys have any other questions? I'm going to turn this off. My room's getting hot. <laughs> I said I only have the one tonight, but I will be doing more soon. Um... I have the hollow cups and I have the plain white ones. I've got some sippy cups too I can show. So if you guys have any sublimation ones you want to see, let me know. Um, but yeah, I'm loving this. Loving this so much. Nika, I might have to fight you for this. <laughs> no, this is so pretty though. So pretty. But yeah, so these are the new blue to pink color changing sublimation cups that we did. Uh, puzzletumblers.com. Go get yours. Yours come in this week. Oh, yes. You need to go get them and do them. Hopefully you get off your restrictions and you can. You, you know, would anyone know if you went and sublimated a couple while, you know, on restriction? Would anyone know? Would they? <laughs> I just bought two to try. Thanks. You're welcome. Let me know how they go, please. Like, if you guys get these, tag me in them. Post them and tag me. Um, because I love seeing when you guys, like, follow my tutorials like I think that's so cool so definitely let me know how you like it you guys have any other questions about sublimation or the cup specifically this purple that it's sitting at right now while it's cooling down is super pretty too that's pretty love it I don't think so. Definitely have been tempted to sub since I don't have to do as much work as epoxy. You see, I've been uh, slowing down with the epoxy, which is why you guys haven't seen me on as much. Um, but I am hoping to do one with that watermelon cup um, that came with this, like that came out the same night as this one. I have one of those. I have an idea. I want to try it. So hopefully I'll get to do that soon and either do it as a video or just post some pictures. 
It's the perfect mood cup. Yes. Oh my gosh, we need like a rainbow. That would be cool. I'm so glad I second ordered one of these. Yes. Honestly, these are so cool. Like these are really cool. I haven't seen color changing ones. You're welcome for the live. I haven't seen color changing, so. And I don't know if you guys can tell either, but it's got like a little shine to it. So it's not just completely matte or anything. It's got like a little bit of sparkle to it too. So it's, it's so pretty. Will she get a shift with purple? I don't know what she's getting. I don't work that closely with her. But if we sell these out, I'm sure she will get more and she'll probably ask for some recommendations. So I think purple would be really pretty. So I'm probably gonna go order a couple more of these because they're so cool. So let's sell her out. Let's get some more color options. I think some, some that would be like, what color options would we want? Purple would be a really cool one to have. Yes, post photos in the group. I'll post a photo of this one in the group. I'll get it half and half and post a picture. All of the color shifting. Yeah, literally all the colors. Like, can we have a little bit of everything? Thanks. <laughs> I think some with like sunset colors would be pretty. So like a yellow to red almost, maybe. So that way it'd be like you could do like, I don't know, like a beach theme, like a beach on it. Ooh, that'd be cool. Yes, the holographic one would be cool. I love the holographic um, white one. I have that one sitting right here. The holographic white is so cool. I have, I, when she first launched the sub cups, I bought a bunch. Yeah, this is the hollow one. That's white. So pretty. But yeah, I think like a, like a pink to yellow would be pretty. Like a pink to yellow or a red to yellow. So it's got like that orangish in between living like a beach sunset theme would be so cute but yeah all right I'm probably gonna hop off soon um I'll definitely try to do another tutorial very soon um hopefully Jessica gets more goodies in soon so we have more stuff to play with but yeah I hope you guys enjoyed if you have any questions comment below anytime tag me in your post if you make anything especially if you got this one because I would love to see what you guys do with it my first thought was like the leopard print so I would love to know what you guys think. So let me know if you do it. You can get the tumbler, the blue to pink sublimation tumbler at puzzletumblers.com. Use the code Morgan12 to save. Oh yes, purple. I think the purple, like this purple what's sitting at is so pretty. Like it's like a lavender kind of purple. It's so pretty. You're welcome for all the tips. A summer color one would be pretty too. But I'm going to hop off. I've got a bunch of shirts to make, <laughs> so I'm gonna do that. I saved some leopard files. I'm telling you, the black will show up the best on these kind of cups with the color changing, so the I thought black and I thought leopard print. <laughs> You're welcome. You're welcome, Jessica. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and hop off, you guys. I'm gonna take a picture of this with it. It's like blue and pink, so you guys can get a good picture of what the actual colors are. And I will see you guys all next time. Bye.